Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. Back with uh, Oxygen Not Included, the pyramid base here. The jobs update. Um, I've done a few things off camera, minor minor tweaks. Just want to walk you through those first. Um, but first off, uh, I want to say thanks for all you subscribers out there. Uh, the channel is kind of blowing up. It's been pretty awesome. Just hit 4,000 subscribers the other day and 5,000 isn't isn't far away. So thanks for subscribing if you haven't already. Please do so if you like these videos. And I got some feedback saying, like the last episode, I didn't do any editing. I just kind of it was raw footage. And some people like that because it shows everything I'm doing and the planning process. And But I know some of you have commented you like the edited version so you don't see everything that's being built. So I'll probably do a mix of both just to uh, kind of cater to both, both uh, interests there. So one thing that was going on here was <laughs> we were running out of polluted water, which really hasn't been a problem in the past for me, but I think what was going on was, uh, see the natural gas pressure in here is 10 kilograms per tile. So this is getting like super pressurized. Um, so I put in some regulation here. If we look at the automation overlay, we got a pressure threshold switch or pressure switch, Atmos switch. Atmos sensor, there, that's what it's officially called. So the fertilizer makers won't kick on, sorry, the pump that's feeding the fertilizer makers won't pump, uh, go on down here, unless the pressure drops in here. So that way we're kind of conserving our polluted water till we really need to use it. And it'll naturally fill up from, from these here when the power goes on. I'm actually not using that much power, even though I've got these five aqua tuners down here. Oh, did I just see some damage? We had a little bit of water tr trickling into this pipe here. So I rebuilt this pipe. Uh, and it was granite before, now it's abyssaloid all the way up. So, so that should let the uh, polluted water kind of build up again, which is good. What else have I done? Okay, way up top here. Um, way up top. Here. Now what was happening was my water coming out of this cooling system was coming out a little bit too cool. It was getting close to three degrees. So I added um, some regulation here as well. What I've done is a thermo switch. And if the current temperature, oh, maybe I did this last episode actually. If the current temperature um, basically is getting too warm, uh, it'll, it'll stop it from cooling essentially. Sorry, if it gets too warm, it'll start cooling. If it's too cold, it'll stop using a shutoff valve right here. Yeah, gas shut off. Um, so it won't let any hydrogen in, which is basically a way of automating this thing to go on or off, which is kind of handy. We're still using coal power up here, which is good for remote power. And we do have a valve for controlling how much water goes in here. What do I have it set at? 1500. But even though that's set to 1500, it essentially is backing up. It's only using what it needs to use down here in our grow room, right here. This has been working pretty well. So the water com is coming in around 15, 16 degrees. I recently just turned that regulation down a bit so it should be coming in a bit cooler now. I kind of want it to be around five or 10 degrees because I started a little mini sleet wheat farm here. So the water's going into that at about 16, which is gonna warm up this area. Yeah, sleet wheat likes five degrees or lower. Negative 55 to negative five. So I think this water, after I change that regulation a bit, will be a bit cooler, so this should continue to grow. We don't really need it, I just wanted to grow a variety of food. Uh, the other thing that's going on is we're running out of polluted water right here. So we are, I used to have polluted water here and then I dug into this pocket and it's almost gone. We're filtering it in a sieve right here to make all our oxygen. So I could tie into our main hot water, but until then I'll might as well use up this polluted water. So I'm thinking of digging maybe through here. We gotta mop this up first actually. Unpause. Can they get in there? I think so. so mop up this fresh water. So 
doesn't trickle in. And really, we should have a little stopper right here. Let's dig this out. And... Actually, we've got a lot of stuff melting in here. Anyway, so I'll dig out this right here. Like that. And try to get it all going in there. And there's also a pocket up here we could go into. That should drain out, go down a bit more. Kind of need a... Oh, we'll put a tile in down here so they can walk across. Because we're gonna, we're gonna drill this down to at least here. So we'll put a tile there so they can get in. They're all getting soggy feet. Take that out. And let's just go down to the bottom. That'll buy us a few extra... some time. I'm just using it up. We don't... We like I said, we can be using the hot water from our geyser instead. But I like just clearing out all this yucky polluted water. And we could do the same here. I'll dig this out and let that drain in as well. Oh, now it's unreachable. We need more ladder. <laughs> so that, and then... Yeah, that should work. There's also some up here I could be using. Oh, this hydrogen is actually really build building up here. <laughs> I thought about making more oxygen generation, even though we don't need it, up here. Basically duplicate this whole system and replicate it up here, and then start flooding the map with oxygen. Or we could put it in a room with a high pressure vent and just store it away for a rainy day. So what else did I have planned? Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to get this morb right here and bag him capture him so put a trap down uh, use a creature trap stick that right there use an airlock so he doesn't get out in fact we could go in from above and then we know he's not gonna it's not gonna get out so put an airlock there And get a ladder. Game is a bit laggy now. So we'll do that. We'll get him. And then we'll stick him in the puffed room. So we need a creature relocator. Stick that. Uh, where should we put him? I don't think it really matters much. Maybe we'll stick him on this ledge here. We need to let them in so they can do that. Yeah, so we'll put the morb there. If we find any other morbs, we'll stick them in there as well. Get this symbiotic relationship going. Now this level is coming down again. I thought about putting in a putting in a bottom here so that this oil never gets used up in this room. It's not really a room right now, but because this oil level keeps falling, which is not good. We might do that a bit later. We've been getting pressure damage over here for the, well, the longest time. In these magic tiles that don't... I don't think they can actually break. Oh yeah, I was going to drill in here. forgot about this task. So that'll drain... We want it to try to drain over here, but... It's not going to. 
But, oh, this is gonna break here. Look at this. <laughs> Get rid of this stopper. I'm not sure why I put that there. Can't remember. Oh, maybe so it didn't backflow. Anyway, that's not going to flow down. That's going to get trapped. Oh, the other thing I did is I was setting up a oil refinery here. Job mastered. It needs some power. Uh, oh, no, we want to use conductive wire. So we'll hook that up. And this thing needs water. A thousand grams per second of water. So quite a bit of water. Alright, I'll probably grab the water from this line here. And I might want to use a valve uh, just to make sure we don't feed too much. Like, if we want to shut it off. So, let's use a liquid valve. Upside down. So out, in, and over. I think I can build a bridge like that. I think that'll work. We'll go in here. And over with the bridge. Using a bisolite because it's hot. Oh, we can't do that. But we could do it here. So we'll do that. And we'll come out like this and in there. Now this doesn't need that much manual operation, but once in a while the pressure builds up and a dupe has to come down and flick a switch and they get a little whistle going on. Now I'm not sure how hot the oil is that comes out of here. I guess we'll find out. But that'll give us another source of oil. That's gonna dribble. That's okay if it dribbles either way. It's just going down here. That's all good. And we do have another oil well over here, but at a thousand grams per second, let's just see these. Is it under utility? Yeah. A thousand grams a second of water. It's quite a bit of water. Overheat temperature 2000. Wow. Okay, that's running already. Good. Now we want to make sure we don't starve our cool water system here but we're not so far. And how much oil are we getting out of that? And how hot is it? That's what I want to know. Oh, wait a minute. Natural gas? This thing gives off natural gas? Is that new? That's no good. Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't say anything about natural gas here. Crude oil, heat. But there's natural gas inside of it. That's interesting. That's new. It doesn't say anything about that. So we'll have to see where that settles and then capture it and send it off to our natural gas power. Interesting. So I guess the pressure builds up here with this little gauge. How hot is this thing? Not too bad, not too bad. Emitting crude oil, okay. Three, ki three kilograms per second. That's pretty good. Don't really use these much, because normally I don't have excess water, but in this case we do. Oh, we got that bleach stone. That's why I built this underwater thing. Sorry, I'm all over the place here. Uh, consumable ore, bleach stone, priority eight. Build that underwater. Now I don't know if that'll kill germs. Whoa. This was all clean. This was completely free of germs. I'm not sure what happened since then. Oh, they're probably just covered in germs from going in there. Oh no, he just, he just went for a swim in there. And didn't get dirty. Interesting. Yeah, so this water was clean last episode. Food poisoning. What's going on here? Dying on liquid. 
Easy. Okay, we got the bleach stone in there. I wonder if that'll actually kill the germs. And if we dumped it on the ground here, what would happen? I want to see. I want to see what happens. It probably doesn't emit or do anything, so... No, I don't think that's going to do anything. We'll turn that back on. Okay. It's got more oil being produced. This is going to burp some natural gas. Unfortunately, this pump and valve I put on the same regulation. I don't want to use this polluted water until it builds up. Even for our pinch of peppers. Yeah, even for our pinch of peppers here. Someone asked if I had a farm set up. Every single farm has its own room. Let's look at the room overlay. So these are all farms. These are all farms. Oh, this one's not. What? Oh, I'm missing a station in here. Oh, I think I used to have this tile open. That's why. Okay. Uh, hmm. What happens if I remove this tile? I think that'll be... Big enough room? Let's find out. Okay, now let's check. Oh yeah, there we go. And you used to have to assign someone to these rooms, but now they're... They're working on their own. It, this just gives them a slight boost to uh, growth. It's not a huge... Not a huge bonus. Now, ever since I put that water lock in, we've had stress go up. Because they get that sopping wet debuff every time they go in. It's manageable now, but if it ever gets worse, I'll just go back to a regular airlock. And little bits of chlorine will get out. That's fine. We've been cleaning the air in here. It's still pretty yucky, so we'll let that kind of clean its way out. This air is probably ne gonna, never going to get clean. We might have to put a deodorizer up there. Let's do that. Uh, right up here. Clean that air. Or oh, we could pump it out, actually. I should have pumped this all over to the puffs. <laughs> so they're going to get a bit sick going in there. But I think that limited exposure will be okay. Everyone's at 100 immunity. And we could dig, dig this down. Let's do priority seven. Let's get rid of this first. Yeah, move this down and I wonder why some polluted oxygen's going up and some's going down. It's very unusual. Let's dig this out. Get that sand. How are we doing for sand? 147 tons. Not running out anytime soon. Okay, let's get the rest of this done. And put a deodorizer at the bottom. Near the bottom. Actually, it would be better over there. Right there, yeah. Oh, this is a bit high. Oh, oh well, it's okay. So how's that water? Oh, wait a minute. Why is this water coming out at nine degrees? Oh, because we're mixing. We're mixing this water again. Wait a minute, 90? Why is this water so cool in here now? It should be coming out at 95. Oh, it's backflowing, that's why. I had this problem last time. Okay, that should not... 
go in there at all. Hmm. Yeah, we don't want that backflowing. This will screw up all our water and it'll start freezing. Yeah, we're okay at the moment. But we don't want this back blowing. We'll have to have a direct line of this clear, moderate temperature water. Yeah, we'll have to send that else somewhere else. Okay, it's still confused. Deconstruct. It should just split. There it goes. We got 95 degree water to our showers and stuff. This pipe doesn't go anywhere anymore. I should get rid of it. It's also kind of ugly. Now, if we deconstruct it here, it'll dribble down that way and then that way. Hmm. Let's just get rid of it, see what happens. Priority eight. There it goes. Yeah, it's kind of making its way in there. Get rid of it all. And this section, yeah, that's safe to get rid of. Should just all dribble down and then we'll mop up whatever is remaining. Okay, what other projects did I have? Oh, how did that, did we get that morb yet? No, we have to dig out this last piece. Now this is really germy in here. 36,000 germs. But hopefully we'll be in, in, in and out of here quickly. Oh, they're in suits anyway. They're fine. Did I lock this off? Actually, they shouldn't be allowed access. Oh, this is all open now. Oh, that's bad. Okay, no one should come through this door. Oh, that's what it said as. Never mind. Perfect. All is good. We're slowly moving this cold oil from here, and I'm dumping it here. Just to keep this area cool. And we want to clear out this whole area. Some secrets in here we want to get to. We still haven't tapped into this, because I just don't need it yet. Okay, we got our morb. Let's dump them right here. And he'll produce nice. Are they gonna be able to get him all the way there? <laughs> they have to go all the way around. Take off their suit get them all the way up here. I don't know if they'll be able to do it in time. Maybe we should allow access here. Temporarily. Yeah, I'm going to let everyone through just so they can get this guy. Someone with an exosuit got him anyway. And hopefully they can... Oh, oh, that's not... not that's not good. <laughs> now their suit's going to be in the wrong place. Uh, let's take that back off. Or oh, is this guy going to get trapped down here? Someone went down here. Where did they go? Someone came down here. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's a, that's a slickster. I thought it was a 
A helmet. Someone came down here without a suit. I don't know where they went. We'll probably get a suffocation or burning warning soon if they're down there. But I don't see them. Okay, the morb's out of there. Let's clean this air. Put a deodorizer. Two in there. One there. One there. Now, how's that morb? Did he make it? There he is. Look at him. Making polluted oxygen for us. He's so happy in there. Now, ideally, we'd have like 50 morbs in here, but we only have one. We could put some outhouses in here and build up the morbs. But for now, that'll that'll do, and we'll lock everyone out of there. That's the germy room. Okay, I did want to get some metal refining going as well. Oh, I moved some. I moved the mess tables to the central column last time off camera. And extended some, bed some bedrooms down. Let's mop this crap up. Oh, and our morbs here. We gotta feed them. So our hatches. Let's dump this igneous rock. Yeah, let him eat that all up. Make some coal for us. How are we doing for coal? 48 tons. It's all good. Things are good. Food is at 500,000. Holy crap. We have too much food. Let's enable the printing pod. And get some more dupes in here. We can go up to 20, I think. We got room. And metal tiles. That's the other project I wanted to do. So we'll start replacing some of these. Now I know if you replace over top, you lose that material, but we don't really need it. Make the top this metal. This is why I want to get the refinery going again. Because we're going to run out here if I do this. So we'll do that. And refinery, I was thinking of putting... Oh, I had it here before. And we were using polluted water. But what I could do is use crude oil instead. Hmm. Because it really heats up the water. Oh, we got natural gas up here. Look at this. It's all floating up from this thing. Oh, what a mess. Now it's okay because they're all in exosuits. Maybe I'll put a pump in here to filter this out and stuff it in here. Hmm. Okay, let's put that refinery back in. Metal refinery is under refinement. We could use a rock granulator. It's not as efficient. Yeah, let's use granite. We can use abyssalite. I think this is where it was before. Oh, we got regulation on that pump, so we can't do that. Are we running out of crude oil? No. How hot is this? 88. I wish I knew the temperature of this crude oil. Oh, the natural gas coming out of here is at 243 degrees Celsius. Holy moly, that's hot. Why so hot? Yeah, we might not have, we might not be able to use this thing for very long. Because that natural gas temperature is crazy. 69 degrees here. I forgot how hot this thing ran. Hmm. 
75 degrees. Let's turn it off for now. Disable. I could have disabled it that way. Yeah, I'll just do it through the valve. Okay. Now, what was I doing next? Uh. Oh yeah, metal refinery. Hmm. If we use crude oil, uh... We could bring some crude oil in and, oh, and then dump it back in the reservoir, but it's going to be super hot. That's okay. It doesn't boil. It boils at like 400 degrees. I think we'll do that. Okay, this light. Got a bit of a piping mess here. Okay, we'll come across. Come across. Come across here. They're not going to be able to build down there. Might have to make some ladders for them. Go in there and then we'll come back out. Oh, what a mess. <laughs> Gonna have bridges everywhere. Down here. Oh, I don't think we can put two bridges like that. Hmm. Maybe we'll come around the side here, dump it in there. I think I'll do that. Okay. Yeah, we'll go this way. Now they won't be able to build right there, but we can add a ladder for them. This is going to be extremely hot. Boiling oil. But I think it's okay. Maybe we should bring it over to where the pump is so we can destroy it. Hmm. I'll just dump it here for now. We're not going to be refining that much metal. So we need bridges. See, you get to see all my slow thought process. It's quite random. Go up there. I don't really have a master plan. I don't plan things out well. I just kind of fly by the seat of my pants and hope for the best. Unreachable build. Go like this. Getting a whole lot of oil there. It's filling up though. Now, what do we want? Let's do iron. Continuous. We can start turning this pyramid into metal. Now, metal has a super high decor. Oh, we're out of metal. Super high decor, and it's faster. So, and it conducts heat like crazy, but that doesn't really matter. It's kind of like plastic, but there's another risk of melting. We are basically out of refined metal, so. Hopefully they'll get on this once they get enough liquid inside. Oh, what's this coming out at? 164. Oh boy. That's nice and toasty. But what it'll do is it'll hit this giant mass of oil. And it'll be okay. It's not like we're putting it in a tiny little tank somewhere. 
It could theoretically boil this polluted water. It got too hot. Oh, it might actually do that. That'll be cool if it does. Okay, let's do a little status check here. Pressure there is coming down. Oh, do we have enough beds? I was going to put a bedroom in here. I totally forgot. Yeah, let's do that. Bed, bed, bed. Granite blocks. Oh, we need doors there. Oh, I missed. They sound so happy when they go through those exosuit docks. Okay, airflow. Got some chlorine building up there. Oh, the, the CO2 level is coming down. In fact, we should let it escape here, maybe. Or maybe make a place for the CO2 to escape down here to our slicksters. This water level is going to keep going up, though, because we're not really using it. Where is he taking that water? Oh, the hand washing. Hmm. We should probably replace these with sinks. We don't want to use our cool water. Let's use our 95 degree water. It's going up there. Come across. Yeah, let's do that. Come this way. Bridge over. I don't know what this pipe is made out of. Probably this light. Yeah. And let's get rid of one of these. And put a sink in. I think one's enough. Actually, they could be running by. But let's put one in first. Okay, we got... Uh what am I doing here? Medicine. I always forget that sinks are under medicine. Like that. A bridge. I'm going slow because the UI is barely responsive here. Like that. Straight, straight pipe in there. Polluted water, we need an exit. Send it down and join in right here. Where's the cleanest place to enter? Maybe right here. I hope it doesn't backflow though. It shouldn't. Let's go. Hmm. Let's send it right here. Oh, that's ugly. That's ugly. But whatever. And then a bridge. That. I think that'll flow the right way. It should. It's no different than coming in that way. And then we'll do another sink. Oh, we got a new dupe. We haven't had a dupe in a long time. Let's see what we got here. Can't construct. Can't dig. I don't like either of that. We're doing lots of constructing and digging. Can't build. Okay, none of you. Sorry. Being pretty picky. 
Let's get igneous rock back in here. Oh, they're just stealing it off the floor. Ah. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> we haven't done a sweep in a while. I think we got some chunk here. Basically sweep up wherever they're going. Actually, the base is pretty clean. There's not that much chunk around. Some seeds and stuff. Get that. Get that. Oh, there's tons of seeds on the ground. You just leave those. Oh, look at them all showering. Wasting our water. Oh, oh, I forgot about this over here, this project. Okay, good. We still got water pumping. Oh, we got a mixture of water. No, no. Oh, that's okay. I forgot these things have been fixed, so clean water going into the sieve is just fine. Luckily. And we were going to get this water here, so let's, uh, let's make it uh, aqua tile, mesh tile, right, what part is that? Eight, right here, here, and then go along here. Oh, it's not going to be low enough. Let's just dig it out. Oh, they won't be able to walk there. We need a mesh tile. Or do we? Hmm. <laughs> Let's go up with a ladder so they can get up there. Like that. And then we'll dig the rest out and let it flow down. We need a stopper here though. Priority 9 stopper. That should get it all in there. Make this priority six so they do it last. That should work. Someone said to hook up this chlorine geyser. I don't really need it for anything right now though. We got a chlorine room and it's maintaining pressure because of the water lock, so. Could pump this CO2 out. We were scrubbing it. We could scrub it to get even more, but more polluted water to filter. Or we could just, oh, it's too cold to send to the slicksters. This, this would work though. Hmm. Anyway, how much metal do we have now? 1600, we can continue, continue the metal project here. I should have made it all gold. So it was like a gold pyramid. Let's do the bedrooms here first, actually. These are all kind of uneven. This one is wrong, so let's fix that. I want to have two spaces in between each one. Oh, and let's give them a... Now if I build this... Oh, will they be able to... Oh, no, this is going to escape. Ah, the natural gas will come out. That's bad. Can't do that. We can do the bedrooms, though. Kind of slow going. How's this sink doing? Uh, I think it's working. Ready? Get rid of this hand washing station. This outhouse was just for emergencies.
I think they should put sink under plumbing, to tell you the truth. Not medicine. Because it seems like a plumbing item to me. I think we can just go straight through, but I don't I don't like doing that, so I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna do that. I think that'll work. How's our cold water? It's now it's still at 16. Interesting. Interesting. So that cold regulation didn't bring it down much. Maybe I did it wrong. Oh, we're just out of hydrogen. Oh, we're probably overpressurized up here. Yep. That's the problem. Hmm. Too much oxygen. This is all pressurized with delicious, pure oxygen. Well, not there. But all the way down here. Look at all this. 2400. We're just swimming in oxygen. Swimming in it. Swimming in CO2 right here. <laughs> Probably because it's escaping every time they go through here. Oh, this is actually quite nasty in here. Quite nasty. That's from all that slime. Hmm. We needed a deodorizer in there. In fact, I might tear down this mushroom experiment. Need a little tile there. How many germs do we have in here? 19,000. Yikes. Yeah, this slime is sublimating. Giving off its gas. That's the problem. Oh, and it's full of germs. Maybe we should grow the mushrooms in here. No. Now we could send the mushrooms out automatically and lock this all off. Because we got this trusty arm here. Hmm. Could do that. We need room for another input and then we need another conveyor. An exit conveyor. These mushrooms are just dirty and gross. I don't I think I'm gonna get rid of this. It was a fun experiment. We'll keep making algae instead. So we'll turn this on. Yeah, let's tear this down. Tear down this wall. Okay, first off, let's kill this CO2 link. Priority 9. And deconstruct all this. This. It was fun. It was cool. But uh, we no longer want it. And let's un-uproot all these. Can you copy uproot settings? No. There's a better way to do this, but I don't mind clicking five times. Okay, we'll clean the air. We'll get rid of that. Let's get rid of every other one. They're all going to get sick going in there. Oh, we need to put our deodorizer back in. Priority 8. It was an interesting experiment. I'll have a think about a better way to do that. But we'll re-enable this. We need to let someone in to do that. 
And we'll just manufacture tons and tons of, tons and tons of algae, which we'll probably never use, but it doesn't hurt to have a stockpile of it. And they're going to go hog wild with the algae or the slime. But that's enabled. Let's lock them out. There we go. So this should be loaded. Let's get rid of this or not get rid of it, but not allow anything. Now I think that'll work. Oh no, Bert's stuck in there. Bert, get out. Get out of there. Get out of the stink room. Okay. We actually don't want them. Oh, we want them in there so they can change this out. That's about it. Seal this up. That one morb feeding all these puffs, plus the polluted water should sublimate all its polluted oxygen over millions of years. Okay, now we can take these out. Actually, let's just leave those for now. We'll we'll fix that later. We got new dupes. Let's see who we have. We got a mouth breather. Irritable bowel, that's okay. Welcome, bunny. Oh, someone wanted me to name them after, name their dupe after them, but I don't have it right in front of me, so I'll do it next time. More metal. Let's continue. They're at these tables a lot, so we'll do these. I think I'm going to wrap up things right here. Didn't get a whole lot done, but this is kind of more finishing touches now. The, ba the base is pretty much done. We got ample food. Only 600,000. Holy moly. I might have to turn some of the food off. Stress is low. Immunity was perfect until a second ago. Oh, that's because of the new, the new dupe. We do have some blistering hot crude oil, but this refinery won't be on forever. Oh, look how slow she is. It's so cute. Why is it cute when people move so slow? I don't know. Whoa. This, what happened here? Something broke? I know I drilled through there, but that's crazy. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.